Okay, so for those of you joining me for this journey, we are here at Nice Place Foundation. I have just arrived and I've just been welcomed. We're in Kajiado County in Oloi Tok Tok. I think I got that right. So here we are at Nice Place Foundation Leadership Academy at St. Paul's for Young Girls. I'm going to take you through a quick walkthrough of what this fantastic facility has to offer. Follow me. you arrive at when you come to Nice Place Foundation. You're greeted here by one of the most fantastic people, Kara and her members of staff. Let's take a walk through here. Through here is where all the administrative staff sit and they are the people chiefly responsible for programs. We won't stay too much here because they are hard at work. Let's go. So this is the kitchen. I'm just going to go in here very quickly so you can meet the team. Again, we won't stay too long here. This is where all the magic happens and this is where the young girls receive the nutrition and the best meals. I have first-hand experience of this and I can tell you it is fantastic. Here we are in the dormitories at Nice Place Foundation where the young girls stay uh, at the safe house. I have here Jennifer who is one of the matrons who looks after the girls. Welcome, Jennifer. If you could kindly just introduce your role here and what you do uh, in looking after the girls. Okay, thank you. My name is Jennifer. I'm the matron here. This is our dormitory. We have two of the dormitories. This is Dom B and we have Dom A with another matron, Josephine, but she's not in now. This dormitory have a capacity of 50 and the other one 50. So for both, it's 100. Yeah, for now we have 29 students who are currently here yeah, at the for, facility yeah so i'm sitting here with mama lucy she is on the advisory board of nice place foundation and leadership academy same house for girls and she's going to speak a little bit to us about what she does and um, how far the place has come also in line with these two wonderful incredible women that have just been explained to us and what they uh, taking down their tools in terms of ending their part in being cutters uh, in, in the process or procedure of FGM. So, Mama Lucy, welcome. Thank you. If you maybe could just uh, introduce yourself and uh, tell us what your work here is at okay. the Foundation. Well, my name is Lucy Nashu. I'm probably the champion. Uh, the name of our champion is somebody who changes the lives of somebody who, who tries to change something out of uh, change, uh, out of uh, telling people, out of education, out of uh, doing the judges. So that's how we get the world champion. And we got the world champion because we try to fight all the odds, all the things that a woman against her is going to do in our community. We fight FT, we fight other marriages, we fight also uh, uh, violence against women, any form of violence, that's what we do. But in this case, I came here solely because of my Oh, so here marks the end of our visit to Nice Place Foundation. But before we go, Nice, let's talk about the Roosevelt Foundation Freedom for Want Award that you received a few weeks ago. Talk us through that. Uh, it was a great recognition and award for me because uh, one thing is that you see also the global recognition, the global award, uh, awards we get, it really also helps us to raise awareness uh, on the issue that is on the population that we work on because it's not just an issue here in Kenya, it's a global issue. And I think being on those big stages, really talking about the issue, it really helps us. Yeah.